Welcome back to CryptoJet, where in today's video, we're going to talk about what is Ripple. Now, if you're new in the cryptocurrency world, all you need to do is head on over to CoinMarketCap and just type XRP or any ticker of any coin you want to be searching for. Press on it and you will find the initial field of information that you need to conclude your research. So first and foremost, the most important figure is the market cap. Now, what is the market cap? It's very simply how much money there is in the project. So if you have 100 people and each of them holds a certain amount of coins, you multiply the people by the coins by the dollar value and you get the market cap. Very simple. Um, I like my dark mode, as you guys may see. And also, if you're new to crypto, definitely subscribe to CryptoJet because I do upload uh, pretty educational videos. You know, you just got to check that out yourself. Um, yeah. So let's move on. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the chart, but since you're all probably noobs, let me just first uh, introduce you to the concept of what Ripple is. Essentially, you can easily move money to all corners of the world. These guys developed a payment solution uh, through cryptocurrency, and they're one of the oldest cryptos out there. So they promote a decentralized infrastructure, messaging, liquidity solutions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, essentially, they're one of the uh, dinosaurs in the crypto world, uh, meaning that they are there since uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum showed up. But one very important thing is that uh, Ripple is not actually all too efficient, right? Uh, there's a lot of other payment solutions that are more efficient than Ripple. So I don't know how it's going to succeed in the long term, especially having in mind that the SEC is actually coming uh, along and trying to regulate uh, Ripple uh, or regulate the whole crypto market, right, by cracking down on Ripple first. So Here's some of that news. Essentially, they're trying to regulate uh, everyone. Uh, and uh, last week, the SEC introduced a seemingly unrelated plan aimed at regulating treasury market platforms. So essentially, uh, they hid a crypto re regulation thing within this name because they can regulate DeFi protocols now. And DeFi is a core part of crypto or decentralized finance. Now, you shouldn't be too scared of this because regulation is not necessarily a bad thing everything is regulated and uh it's it's actually pretty good right but uh one thing that you should keep in mind is that the ripple team is actually being sued for uh so basically what happened is they have you have ripple and you have xrp xrp is the coin and ripple is the company so these guys actually used xrp to fund ripple as a company, but they failed to res register it as a security or like as a stock or something. And that's why they're getting cracked down on by the SEC, because if you're going to use something to find your actual company, it better be a stock and it better be a, a registered thing as a security because cryptos are not registered as securities. So if Ripple wins this, it's good for the crypto world because it will sort of slow down the SEC, even though regulation may not necessarily be a bad thing. But if Ripple does lose um, uh, which is highly unlikely, by the way. I don't think the SEC has anything on them at this point. Uh, every single piece of news that you can see uh, says that, uh, you know, whatever the SEC can do next, uh, Ripple's price is jumping, you know. It, disregarding everything that's going on, Ripple's price just rebounded very strongly from the $0.5 mark and came back all the way up, sort of breaking out of this downtrend line. Now, it's going to be very important where we close right now. Um, if we do close somewhere in this vicinity, we are still... Uh, it's it's still undecisive, right? So if I show you Bitcoin's chart right now, let me just let me just head on over there. So if I show you Bitcoin's chart, you can see that we are uh, in more recent times in somewhat of a downtrend, but it does seem like we are bottoming out. Um, but even if we're not bottoming out, even if we're going to continue towards more downside, if you actually move, so this is a little trick I want to show you guys. So if you're in the lower time frame. Uh, to spot a trend, all you need to do is draw an arrow from where the price is starting to where it's ending. And if it's going from the top left towards the bottom right, uh, we're in a downtrend, right? But that's on the daily time frame. So if we move on to the weekly time frame, we can see that crypto or, you know, I use Bitcoin as a reference, but we can see that on the weekly time frame. So ever since August 2017, we've been in an uptrend. So regardless of what happens right now, even if crypto goes down into the 20K mark, we're still going to be in that uptrend. So keep that in mind. Now, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Ripple review. Um, leave a like, subscribe, press the bell, you know, show some love, do whatever, do whatever the hell you want. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one now that we're actually, you know, looking at each other. So peace out. Adios.